Let's open up the This vault. week, uh, I'm just gonna play these videos and I'll see you on the other side. Cool. Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, we're back at the Ada Food Factory uh, making prototypes. My stencils didn't come in yet, so I'm hand pasting these prototypes for um, my RP2040 keyboard with OLED and rotary encoder. And the way I do this is I actually have uh, solder paste in this little dispenser and I've got a nice fine tip on it. And then I very carefully uh, squeeze paste onto the pads. I try to get it as clean as possible. I'm gonna have to clean this up later with um, my soldering iron, but you just wanna get it good enough so that the components sit in the right place. And then I'm going to use um, this collection of all my raw components, pan, place them on, and then the best part is it goes to the oven, which saves me the most time. So this is gonna be very fast once I pick and place all the components on my hand. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Okay, so I put together the prototypes for my macro pad with all those LEDs and buttons and, and the OLED sock and everything. And then I got home and it's time to actually put it to the test. So this is some Arduino code running on it that uh, you can see it reacts to when key presses are pressed. I can press them all. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there's also the rotary encoder, which you can see as I turn it. It goes the right direction, and when I press it, it also knows it was pressed. And then finally, I'm doing a little I squared C scan uh, with the STEM IQT sensor, so you can see here. When I have it plugged in, it says there's something detected. When I remove it, it's like there's nothing detected. So this is my little hardware bring up test. Uh, but so far, so good. I have a couple tweaks to do, like, you know, it's a little embarrassing, but I actually had to add a couple of 10 microfarad capacitors. I needed more capacitance, but I think it's almost done. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Okay, so I'm still working on the bring up of my macro pad boards, and I just finished doing the Arduino core. So this is Arduino code here. You can see it's rotating and like keys are being pressed and all that. And then on the other one, I've got two prototypes. I've got this with CircuitPython, but you can see there's a little blink of friend. So this one, um, I just had to do a little bit of a, like a patch to the core to fix like a typo bug for the SH1106 OLED driver because like the columns and rows were mixed. But I did that and then my driver is like working great now. And then um, this code is, you know, kind of similar when you press the keys, they light up. And you get the rotary encoder and the rotary button press working as well. So it's good. It means I've got the hardware working on Arduino and CircuitPython, which means it's time to write some macro pad code. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm uh, trying out a sample I got of these lamp keys. These are interesting keys. Um, they actually showed up on uh, JP's video. He's been, like, loving these lamp keys. You see, it's an opaque blast black plastic key within this clear window that like you have neopixel or LED glow through. They have this kind of cool like modern cyberpunk 80s look to them, which I really dig. Uh, so after uh, I asked JP what, what they were called, I found a supplier. They're not super cheap, but they have a great look to them. Um, and you can see the clear window here and then the neopixel shining through. And then this is the uh, clear cast RP2040 key that I made uh, with my resin kit over last weekend. I'll probably be doing more resin stuff this weekend, but um, these keys look pretty cool. I mean, like, they're just, I don't know, they're like super cyberpunk. So I think these are good. We'll put them in the store. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, we are looking at some mechanical keys today. And so folks are pretty familiar with these. These are like the Cherry MX style switches. This is actually Kale switches, and there's this one with a keycap. But you might be like, man, these are so chunky. I mean, they're great, but they're they're a little tall. I mean, like, you're gonna look at, look at this board and it's kind of sticking up. What if you want something slimmer? Well, there's the Chalk series and the Chocolate series from Kale are super slim. So I got some samples and this is the one with the keycap. Like compare this to this. It's like so much slimmer. Uh, and then there's one, here's a really nice clear keycap. Only thing is the keycaps are totally incompatible. And the bottoms also, you know, I had to get special sockets. Um, the socket bottoms, the, the, sorry, the pin bottoms are also totally incompatible, as you can see here. So it's kind of a whole different system, but they're super small and skinny. This one's a clicky one, too. Sounds good. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Oh, I got some cool samples in today. So this is a custom etched keycap. It's a translucent plastic with like a black plastic that is then etched through so you can see it's got the Adafruit logo in cool glow through design. So looking great on this macro pad, whatever the color of the NeoPixel underneath is what it goes through. I also got the OLED working with the offset and everything in CircuitPython, so that's good news. And then when I press this button, bam, 
opens a Betafruit. I just programmed the macro pad really easy to make it do anything on your computer. So I just made it open up a, uh, a browser window. It's very cool. Custom keycaps coming soon. Dun 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 What am I singing? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we have, have one right two. here. Yeah, I have one. I, can I don't have this plugged in, and of course yeah. it's it's not running. But uh, it's a translucent etched keycap. It's one of the few things we'll put our logo on. Which is really cool. So it's actually a, a translucent plastic, and you can see there's a thin black layer, which means. Uh, we can get custom edge keycaps. We already have some goth keycaps on the way. We got some stuff going on. And then last up, um, got to read the room here. So we're doing an e-ink trinky. Yeah. So do you want squid friend? Squid. squid friend. Or do you want panda friend? Panda friend. Squid friend or panda squid friend? Squid friend. Squid or, or panda friend? Panda. Squid friend or panda friend? I'm not going to tell you which to pick, but you should pick panda. Squid friend or panda friend? All right. And with that is uh, top secret for the week.